Howdy, and welcome to Joey's Tech Tips. And today I'm gonna do a walk around on my 2008 Lexus GX 470. Um, we got this in July of 2019. It is now uh, January 2020. And after having gotten to driven, drive it for well, I guess over six months and put 20,000 miles on it uh, in those six months or 19 to be specific. Uh, I've just, I've really enjoyed this car. This car is awesome. Uh, right now we're gonna go ride our bikes. And as you can see, we can literally just configure the car to fit all of our bikes. I've got two, two bikes for my kid as he's transitioning from a Strider bike to a, to a full on bike and a car seat fits, everything fits. You can take those chairs out. Um, this car has a variable lift in the rear, uh, which is really cool. So it has an air suspension. Um, so you can go up and down. You have uh, active suspension for uh, comfort and sport, and they really do work. And so I mainly use um, the sport feature on the highway because we do a 160 mile commute every week. So that's 320 miles a week. Uh, we drive from College Station to San Antonio, Texas uh, so that I can run the hi-fi shop here. And uh, you know, we have just the standard infotainment system. I used to be really big into car stereos, but this came with the Mark Levinson system. Seems to work just fine. Um, it also has a four wheel drive. So you've got a, a low and a high. You have um, second gear start. You have uh, rear uh, uh, AC that you can turn on and off. Uh, AC plug in the back, defrost obviously. Um, this is for uh, the skid, uh, anti-skid I believe, or anti-roll. So you turn it off. Basically it's a button to turn off when you're going four wheeling. This is a center lock differential button. So what's really cool about these cars is that they're actually known as a Toyota, uh, I think Prav, Prava or something like that, Pradio uh, in the rest of the world. And so um, this is kind of like a mini Land Cruiser. A lot of people kind of call it that or because it is a mini Land Cruiser in all the rest of the world. So uh, it has a 4.7 liter V8. Um, the only major downside to this motor is that it does have to have its timing belt done. And as you can see, I did it uh, in December. So I had someone uh, do it for me in San Antonio, Paul Hooks. They did a really good job. And um, it weirdly got one extra, one extra mile per gallon, which kind of surprised me. Uh, I restored the headlights. I've restored them twice. Um, right when I got it, I restored them and then uh, after 20,000 miles. It was just, I'm real particular. I want it to look really, really clean. And so, um, as you can see, they do, they do look really clean. And I just use my Meguiar's uh, headlight kit. And I also use 105 and 205 and hit it with the polisher. And it comes out really clean. And then I use their uh, spray and it makes a really big difference. The running boards actually are really functional. They help a lot. Um, I just have Michelin, um, uh, what are they, the like LX4s or something like that. Just their standard tire. And uh, it's been really great for the highway. I do plan to get some rims and tires at some point um, to go off-roading with. Uh, it does require premium fuel. For some people that's a deal breaker, it's not for me. I only have one sticker on the car right now. It's Armadillo Bowlers. Uh, which is my favorite place to go bouldering here in San Antonio. I do like the swing gate. Um, it's really nice. It uh, is highly functional for what I do. And uh, I do have a hitch. Uh, this car is rated for, I believe, 6,500 pounds. I'm not sure if that's a class three or class four hitch. I assume the 6,500 pounds would require a class four hitch. Uh, but it does have electrical plugs and everything. Um, this looks like probably a class three, but let me see here. No, that's a class four. Uh, it has the rails on it. So, 
Uh, other than that, it's it's just been great. Like you can go out in the country, be on the highway. We bought this because um, we wanted something that we could drive to and from uh, College Station and feel relatively safe because it's a very dangerous highway. If you look up uh, Highway 21 between um, San Antonio, Texas, well, really San Marcos and uh, College Station, um, it's a pretty fierce road. It's underestimated by a lot of people. I've seen every kind of car torn open on that road. It's, uh, it's no joke. And so we had been driving an IS350 and uh, yeah, <laughs> we were seeing like Avalon's tor torn in half. And I was like, you know, I'll give up some miles per gallon to have some extra weight uh, when all there are, are F-250s that a lot of uh, oil workers use and tend to kind of plow out um, a lot of sedans. So, and 18 wheelers and just everything else. It's a very active highway. So we bought this specifically just for that. We also got another car that I'll be uh, kind of doing a walk around at some point. But yeah, overall, uh, this car was, 13,000 and it had 140,000 miles. Um, most LX, uh, or sorry, GX 470s, a range from, I would say like 6,000 to 11,000. Uh, and they're all gonna be like second and third owner cars that aren't very well taken care of. Air suspension issues, leaks, just not addressed. Cars that people don't wanna put the time into. Uh, the reason I know that is because I looked like at 10 of them before I bought this one for 13000 and uh, And it was funny because when I bought it, uh, the dealership just thought I was crazy for paying this much money for it. Um, they, were, they were shocked that I was just like, I'll take it because they didn't know the market. They had underpriced it. And now if you look up a similar GX like this in our local market, they're thirteen to $15,000. And uh, even nicer ones would go up to eighteen, which is crazy because... The GX460, uh, the new model, actually starts around that price for, you know, beat up, un taken care of, 120,000 mile plus GX460s. And you can get a really nice one for like 21 to 25, which then just kind of jumped up $10,000 and was almost twice as much as this car that I got. So, uh, so yeah, so I love this one. Um, I'll be doing some modifications to it but not much. Uh, what's really made a difference is that I just used a ceramic hybrid uh, spray that uh, Meguiar's makes. And when it rains, it's, the water just falls off. This car hasn't been washed in two weeks. So it's relatively clean. As you can see, if I get real close to it, you can see all the dirt. But because um, of the way you can just wash this car off uh, very, very easily it's like the dirtiest part and it's been raining for the past couple days the first day with sun uh, you really don't have to wash this car too much um, it stays relatively clean and then the light color also lends itself to that so um, other than that I mean I just really have enjoyed this car it's really comfortable it's got power seats on both sides the leathers held up uh, relatively well I don't have like a side bolster that's broken I don't have broken leather whoever had this car before you know put some care into it and uh i've already like done the leather and all of that stuff but we really i mean we use this car non-stop uh, it's 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 amazing i mean it's just it's a really really amazing car so uh i hope you enjoyed this walk around um i can't wait to learn more and more about this platform i've looked up all the aftermarket parts for it uh as i do with every car i get and there are a bunch um but uh you know you got priorities in life and all kinds of things and i really just need to get back and forth right now but at some point we will get some wheels and tires because my best friend uh his wife has a forerunner and she just got tires to go off-roading so i definitely foresee us doing some off-roading and i want to get that on video and that's what you know this car is totally capable of and that's what makes it so much fun is that um, this is a highway cruiser. It's a family hauler. One of the things I didn't show, let me show this real quick, is that it actually has a third row. Um, but I took the back seats out. You'll see over here, uh, there's this little flap here and it opens and uh, you actually like strap the seats and they like fold down. And on this side, they fold down. And that's really nice. Um, 
but I don't, since it's just three of us, we don't really worry about that too much. You also see it has rear AC, which is also really nice. Um, Cause then our kids not sweating here in Texas where it can be like a hundred degrees for 60 days straight. So anyways, um, I will report more on this. Maybe uh, if we tow something, that would be kind of cool to show.